What is up, Ducks fans? We are on our way to another Ducks game. Tonight it is the Ottawa Senators in town. Um, they are coming off a 7-1 to thrashing at the hands of the Washington Capitals. And, um, yeah, so they should be pretty upset tonight. Um, it's interesting, though, their goalie, Andrew Hammond, uh, the Hamburglar, um, he left the game, uh, left the team, rather, on Monday, a day after that game, for personal reasons. So that's kind of interesting. So uh, their goalie tonight will be Craig Anderson, which is probably better for us, despite Hammond uh, allowing those seven goals against Ottawa. Um, still probably better that uh, it's not him that we're facing tonight. Um, so um, the Senators, they're in a position this season uh, similar to what we're in. They're 2017 and seven, or uh, 2017 and six, I mean. And we're 17, 17 and seven. Um, obviously, they have a few more points than us, but uh, should be uh, an evenly matched hockey game. Um, I am a little worried that they're going to be, you know, coming out. Um, on fire after that loss because, I mean, they're not a, a bad team this season, so, you know, that loss to the Caps uh, is sure to have them uh, ready to unleash uh, unleash some fury, but hopefully we don't allow it to be on us. Um, so, for us, um, we have Freddie Anderson in that tonight, which, um, you all know I love Freddie, but I feel like it's an interesting decision because um, we have had three days since our last game, and uh, unless Gibson is under the weather, I I uh, would say we should go with him, just because, I mean, he has been really, really hot lately, and um, and like I said, you all know I love Freddie. Like, I definitely am okay with Freddie starting, and I really, really, really hope he has an awesome game tonight. Um, it was just, like I said, an interesting decision to me. Um, so... Um, yeah, I'm wearing my Kessler jersey tonight. Um, he's been playing like a beast, so um, I'm uh, trying to channel that through this jersey into the game tonight. Um, hopefully the whole team plays like a beast. One giant mechanical beast that's working together um, to uh, destroy our opponent because that's been a big problem this season. I mean, like I, that's why we haven't been scoring goals. The lines just have not been connecting and you know I mean obviously Ricardo Kell moving to the top line with Getty and Perry has made a huge difference and that line scores as it should and then honestly the only other line this season that I've really been like um you know impressed with has been our fourth line and I'm trying to think what the exact combination was I think it was right when Nate Thompson came back and it was like Thompson Santarelli Stewart I want to say um and now, though, we're, like, jacking with that. Like, last game, our third line, like, we had Thompson as the center, and we moved Horkoff to, like, left or right wing. And it was just, like, so weird because it was just, like, um, we had, like, it was, uh, I think, Cogliano, Horkoff, Thompson. And, like, I like Thompson on the fourth line. And, um, you know, Santorelli and Stewart, like, they, they had a couple uh, really good games together when Thompson first came back from, from uh, his, his injury. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, we haven't worked that great as a team this season. Like, um, you know, the uh, it seems to be our second line is most commonly, um, um, well, I guess not most commonly, but we do frequently see Haglund out there with Silverberg and, and, and Kessler. And that line has just not been as impressive this season as, as it should be. But Kessler lately has just, <clears throat> excuse me, Kessler lately has just been like, lighting it up, really. Not just scoring, but just playing really good hockey, and uh, I'm hoping that that leads to that line kind of just doing better as a, as a line, scoring more. Um, I'm really wanting to see more goals out of Haglund, especially, but Silverberg too. So anyway, that's kind of a random tangent. Wasn't really uh, planning on talking about all that, but my uh, mechanical bear analogy kind of made me think about it, so hopefully we kind of all work like a machine together tonight, score a lot of goals, I'm going to say we do, and that we beat Ottawa 4-2. to So that's my prediction, and I will see you all after the game. All right. So the Ducks got the win tonight, but the way that we got the win was so freaking awesome because most of this game was a low-scoring, close game like we're, we've seen so many times this season. And uh, it was 1-1 one -one with about five minutes left in the third period, and... It ended with a 4-1 to one Ducks victory, so what a 
nice finish to the game. Um, it was basically like playing a video game. That's what I told my wife is it felt like playing playing on, you know, like <clears throat> NHL 16 and turning the sliders for the Ottawa defense down to zero and just, you know, going ham. So uh, that was pretty awesome. Um, and also the guys who got the goals, it was extremely satisfying to see. Um, so... Uh, Andrew Cogliano started off the scoring for us, and he hadn't scored in, like, 17 games, I believe. And uh, so he got his fourth goal of the season. That was awesome to see. Um, and then, uh, after a bad Ryan Gesloff turnover, the Senators tied it in the second. So that was one-to-one -one going into the second intermission. And then, um, actually, because of that turnover, Ryan Gesloff, because he's had a couple bad turnovers the last two games, um, he actually was benched the first five minutes of the third period. And then when he did... Uh, come back in after that um he was on the fourth line so with uh santorelli and stewart so that was weird and i kind of thought if your captain is on the fourth line is it really the fourth line anymore but technically it was and uh patrick maroon was moved up to the first line with uh raquel centering uh maroon and perry but um then uh so we about five minutes left in the game we're on a power play and shea theodore gets his first nhl goal so that was super exciting and um that was awesome to see obviously everyone goes wild um and it was assisted by getsy so that was good he got some redemption there and then though the next two goals we had a carl Haglin goal and a jacob silverberg goal the two guys that literally a few hours ago in this very video i was saying uh, I was wanting to see more from, and they each got goals tonight, their fourth goals of the season, respectively. Um, just like Cogliano, all of them were their fourth goal tonight um, of the season. So, um, yeah, and Cogliano's goal actually put him um, into ninth place on the Ducks' all-time goal scoring list, so that was cool too. But anyway, so a lot of a lot of good good stuff tonight, just good, happy feelings, Ducks goals. Um, Hopefully we can keep it going. You know, hopefully we saved some goals for Friday night because we play the Dallas Stars. So that is going to be a tough one. But uh, Freddie Anderson also played a great game um, and uh, got the win. So it's a great game by the Ducks. We are 18, 17, and 7. And uh, feels good. Um, this win feels really good. So we are 3-2 and two now on this eight-game homestand. Like I said, continues Friday against the Stars. I will see you then. Go Ducks. See you later.